Hey everyone out there, I hope you guys are having an awesome day once again. I feel like I say that every single time, but that's okay. We're learning some Git. That's the most important part. So this is the last video I'm going to be doing that involves me by myself. And when I say that, it's like me and only one terminal window. After this, I'm going to have two terminal windows. We're going to be working as if we have multiple users on a project, and we're going to go over what happens when files collide and we have merge problems and just basic things that you're going to encounter if you're working with a team. So the one thing I want to emphasize on today's video is the basic flow of files, basically from adding a brand new file to committing that file. And we've kind of done this before, but I want to make sure you understand why you're doing it and what's really going on. So you know what happens when the crap hits the fan. It's YouTube. Got to make this child safe. Otherwise, I'd say another colorful word. So let's open up this fancy pantsy presentation here. So if I add a brand new file, and this is the basic flow right here. If I add a brand new file, it's going to be untracked. Now if I, or if I modify file, it will be this modified in red. If I do a git add, it will be modified in green. And if I do a git commit, it will be saved. Now I think it's pretty easy to understand the saved part here at the top. And it's pretty easy to understand the untracked when we add a new file. Git's not going to track it. But I think the most difficult part to understand about this slideshow right here is what is the difference between the red and the green? Well first of all on a very simple scale the red and the green comes from enabling colors in Git. That just makes it a lot easier to understand. I don't like fancy fancy terminology. Just use the colors, the red and the green. Everyone has that. So what's the difference between the red and the green? It's actually really simple. We both know for my past videos that if I modify a file it's gonna come up in red as modified and I have to do a git add to make it green so the the main difference between them is if I do not do a git add to a file after I've modified it and then I make a save state that whatever is in red whatever I changed but did not add is not going to be sent to that save state so essentially I can have one file out of 50 files that I just never add and every time I make a save state that those changes in that one file are never going to be sent off to GitHub. Now this doesn't mean you can use it as a means to ignore necessarily. There's a better way to ignore files and I'm going to show you how to do that. But keep in mind that if you have a configuration file let's say and you keep changing it but you don't want to send it off to GitHub because everyone else has their own configuration files. They should be ignoring it, but Git gives you the flexibility of being able to not send that off, which is kind of nice. It's just extra flexibility. I think for the most part, you're not really going to hold back too many files. You're pretty much going to send everything off. And if you need to ignore stuff, you can use the Git ignore file, which we're going to go over in this video. So let's go ahead and go through the basic flow. And I want to emphasize that untracked file. Let's let me take a look at this real quick. This untracked with this white line right here. The reason I drew a white line in there is because when the file's untracked, it doesn't go through any of these stages. It never gets committed. The only way to make it get committed and go to this process is to do a git add. And we're going to do that right now. So if I run git status, I'm clean, fantastic. So let's go ahead and look at my file directory. I just have the readme file. So let's go ahead and add a new file called readme2. I want to say this is readme2. Save it, close it, do a git status. Now keep in mind right here, this is untracked file. I can do whatever I want in my project. If I never add readme2, it is never going to be sent to GitHub and GitHub is not really going to care about any changes I make to it. It just knows that file exists now in my local repository. So let's go ahead and add this guy. Let's add readme2. And we do a git status, and there we go. It's in green. Because I added it, this is going to be committed. This is going to be sent to GitHub whenever I make a save state. So let's go ahead and do git commit with our message. Added file readme2. And keep in mind, the author and the date is being sent with this. So I don't need to say made by JSON. People will be able to see that already. So we can do a git push. And just like that, 
that file has been sent off to GitHub. That's really easy. So let's go ahead and go over a little bit more flexible options here. <clears throat> let's go ahead and modify README2. README2. Modify ASDF. Classic. Git status. So it's modified in red. And let's go ahead and not, let's just make a commit. Let's make a save state right now. This is in red, right? So it's not going to send it, right? Let's, let's make sure. Modify readme2. All right. Oh, wait, what happened? It just threw another git status at me. Now, that's the thing. It doesn't, it, it says basically no changes added to commit. There's nothing that's changed. Remember, we have to add it. It needs to be in green if we want to actually put this in a save state. So git status, git add readme2. Let's clear this out actually. Clear git status. And there we go. Modify. Now, if I do a git commit m mod readme2, it made, there you go. There's a commit right there. And I can push. Bingo. I don't know why I said bingo. I'm just, I guess, a little too into git right now. So let's go ahead and edit readme2 again. And blah, blah, blah wonderful poetry I'm writing in there. So we're going to have red, right? Let's add again, just like we did. Now, what if you get to this point and you're like, oh crap, I don't want this to be in a safe state. I made a mistake. I need to put this back into the red because these changes are not ready to go. Well, this is one thing I love about Git. It knows pretty much the most frequently asked questions and it gives you a great little tidbit of information usually on some commands. Use git reset head file to unstage. That means I can, that essentially translates to if I use this, if I reset the head, remember the head from the last video, if I move it back in time a little bit to before adding it, then I will put it back into the red. So let's do that. Clear. Git reset read. Git reset head and read me to unstage so get status and there we go it's back in the red so that's how you can unstage it so let's clear it now the last thing I want to show you is a git ignore so I'm gonna look at all my files right here now the LS is listing all the files in the current directory and if you do the flags AL it's basically listing everything including hidden files so I need to add a git ignore file you can see I have the git file right here that's actually a directory, but I need a text file called git ignore to ignore certain files. And I want to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and, and uh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So let's go ahead and do a mate git ignore. And I want to ignore readme2. Readme2 and save it. It's just that easy. Now, if I want to do more stuff, I can do a star.txt. This will ignore all text files. Like I said, you guys are smart. You guys can look up the basic syntax on how to remove files or ignore files. I just want to show you that this exists. So let's clear this out. So git status. Look at that. Readme2 is still there. I thought I just added this to git ignore. Well, here's the issue. The file cannot be added. It has to be untracked. So remember, untracked is when you add a brand new file and GitHub is not following it. If I've already added it, git ignore doesn't it's like a honey badger, it doesn't give a crap. It is still going to be following that. So I need to remove it, and this is gonna be a very helpful command. So I have the modified readme2, but I can do a git remove, and let's, let's see. Remember, you can do git remove h right there, and you can see all your options right there, but I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna do a git remove cached readme2. I'm removing it from my cache, so basically, that's the opposite of a git add. I'm removing it. I'm removing it from the cache. So git status, boom, deleted readme2. It thinks I've deleted it. It's not there. It's ignoring it now. So I'm going to do a git add git ignore. Do my git status. There we go. Clear git commit m added ignore file. Git push. And clear git status. And there we go. The readme file is there. It's still modified, and I can modify it. Modified it, close it, get status. It doesn't see it anymore. It is ignored. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome day.